This is your 6 o'clock news on Channel 66. Our first story tonight, the suicide trees haven't been ripped apart in weeks. Our heartbeats revolting. Let's shoot on over to Azazel Horsehead with the story. Azazel? Thank you, Jared. But let me remind you, though, my name is just Azazel, not Azazel Horsehead. I'm in the second ring of the seventh circle of hell, and the harpies are mad. The suicide trees haven't been ripped apart in weeks. We have Henry the harpy here for the scoop. Now, Henry, why haven't you, the harpies, ripped apart any trees lately? Well, it's simple, Azazel. We've been doing the same old dance every day since the 14th century, and honestly, us harpies are sick and tired of it. Uh, we, we've been doing the dance. Uh, we're revolting. We want to be treated better. Harpy lives matter. Interesting. Some people may argue that ripping suicide trees apart are your only purpose. Like our other guest, Timothy. The tree. Thank you for being here, Timothy. What are your thoughts of the harpy revolution? Yeah, these harpies gotta stop complaining all the time. Uh, they're death spirits. They only have one job. Plus, it's just pathetic that they'd even think we'd be equal. Please. The tree that killed himself is gonna tell him I'm pathetic. Watch it, I'll mess you up, harpy. I'd like to see you try. Ah! Yeah. It looks Tear like everything is back to normal here, off. Jared. Back to you. Firewood. Faster! Faster! Thanks, Horset. We go now to a mom and Val with entertainment. Thanks, Jared. I'm here at the Paolo Francesca Cinema Theater here in the Second Whoa. Circle. We're getting ready for a very exciting summer movie wow. season. We have numerous entertaining flicks any cinema can enjoy. No, no, no. Hello, child. What movie will you be seeing today? Well, I'm waiting for Trevor, though, but it's really good to come to, um, cause, uh, cause coming to the movies, wait, um, cause coming to the movies, you know, actually, last February, um, and it's good. Uh, Trevor! Trevor! You heard it here, folks. Wow, those are some interesting stories. I think we should take a little break. We good? Just read off the teleprompter, fat ass. Can you actually mind your own business, Jack? They put me in front of the camera for a reason. What? Well, why are we fading yet? I'm not the director. Tip the black! Tip the black! Man, we have so much work to do, but I have no energy whatsoever. Yeah, I just want to kill myself. Are you kidding? You need to have real energy energy bars. You can't get through a day of work without some freaking energy. Wow, now I feel like I can accomplish this. What a tasty snack. Let's get working! Why stop here when I can energize the entire freaking inverno? Get energized! Have a real energy bar! You need some energy! Buy it now in stores, you bum! Do you have two or more heads? heads? Do you hate it when your head bangs around? And have constant tugging, tugging. resulted in neck rash? Brands in store not good enough? enough? Well, fear no more. Because with Gusion Neck Gel, Gel, you can get through your day without any more pain. Me and my ten heads always crash and collide. But now with Gusion Neck Gel, we can twiddle and twaddle all we please. I wish I had more heads now that I have Gusion Neck Gel. I only have one head, but I usually just take the gel and rub it on my... If you have seasonal allergies, Gusion Neck Gel, gel may be right for you. Side effects of Gusion Neck Gel are super common, common include headache, nausea, vomiting, death, clumsiness, vaginal discomfort, dystonia, whatever the hell that means, cardiac, uh, yeah, whatever, mild heart, uh, projectile stool, stool. uh, leakernography, dracrum, um, anthro- Hemorrhoids! AIDS. Mild discomfort, sugar high, and a mild neck rash. So get Goose and Neck Gel now. This summer, get ready because your favorite priests are still stuck in hell. Looks like we're trapped in here again, Father Ron. Don't give up, son. We made it out of here once. We could do it again. Plus, we have the power of God on our side. Really? The hell no. Hold on to your faith. Because things are gonna get rocky. Robin Williams as Father Ron. Bring it on, Fire Ninjas! And Paul Walker as Father Thomas. Oh, don't jump, it's too dangerous. I chose this life of faith long ago. Thou shall not kill too when we meet again. Shh! Don't wake him up! Almost got it. <laughs> Welcome back to today's new episode of the news. Up next, we have the weather with Timmy Three Horns. Hey Tim, how's it looking up in limbo? Oh, I'm, I'm pretty goddamn tired of you sending me all these chilly places. Oh, I already lost a horn due to nippy conditions. You make me bust out the big guns. Oh, oh and my, my very expensive chinchilla fur coat. It's keeping me warm in these, uh, 
Oh, horrid conditions. Am I on TV? Hi, Mom. Hi, Dad. Oh, no. Hey, bro. Oh, no. Sister. No. Not, Hi, no. Grandma. Not you. Oh, not you. Oh, hey, no, not look. You. We're wearing the same fur coat. What? Why don't you button your buttons into my buttonholes, and I'll button my buttons into your buttonholes? We'll be a big, warm hug of a chinchilla fur coat. Oh, uh, I don't know about that. I don't really like that idea of hugging you. Uh. You need to lighten up, sour guy. Here, I got something for you. Oh, oh, uh, oh, from, from me? Oh, you... No one's ever bought me a gift before. Open it up. Oh. Open it up. Oh, but on life Open TV, it up. I, I, I open it up. I don't know. I, I... No, two and a half horns. You should definitely open up the box. The fans need to know. Oh. Oh, oh okay. Here we go. Slower. Oh, okay. Slower. Oh, okay. Oh. Oh. Wow. Oh, wow. It's a coupon. Oh, it's to Hellister. My favorite. Oh, how did you know? Oh, that was really nice of you. You didn't have to go do something like that for little old me. Whoa. Say no more. Oh. Oh. I'm always oh. here for you, man. Well, I'll see you around. Oh, you think I was a little too tough on him there, Jared? Jared? Oh, hello? Oh, hello? Oh, please answer me. Whoa, we have some breaking news for you. It looks like there was a car crash on the Tappan Zee. Apparently someone's dangling off the bridge. Oh, wow. That's got to be really scary. Why don't we go check it out? We got Hoover Hoof... We got Hoover Hooffoot. Hoover Hooffoot on the scene. That's a stupid name. Wait, how did he get there so fast? This is Hoover Hooffoot reporting on the Tappan Zee where two... Uh, I'll try that one again. This is Hoover Hoofoot reporting on the Tappan Zee Bridge where two cars have collided head on, projecting one of the drivers out of his car, and now he's dangling on the side of the bridge, hanging for dear life. Tell me, you must be shocked for sure. Yeah, I definitely didn't expect this when I woke up this morning. I wasn't mentally prepared for this, you know? Kind of weird turn of events for sure, yeah. I bet, I bet. Tell me, now that you've been put in a situation like this, what do you want to see happen to the gun laws in hell? Oh yeah, definitely. Make them illegal. I'm sick and tired of all these shootings happening. Now that's just sickening. When will they make guns illegal? Can't you see it's killing our people? Well, I think we'll take it from here, big guy. Looks like we won't be seeing that other guy for a few months after he does his time in the Inferno. He'll be back, though. Isn't that great? Burning in hell for all eternity? Well, anyways, looks like that's all the news we have for you tonight. In tomorrow night for the same great news from the same great station. This is Jared Fogle signing off. And just so we're clear, I'm not like a subway Jared Fogle dude. People always think that. That dude's still alive. But he's definitely going to hell for sure. <laughs>